Uh, we're gonna start putting the engine per se back together here. So we are going to, I'm gonna put this front cover on so it's all sealed up. Um, probably put the oil cooler on, exhaust manifold, maybe the turbocharger. Oh, before I put the turbocharger on, we're gonna put bell housing bolts in it because there's no bell housing bolts in it yet. Or not bell housing, sorry, uh, torque converter bolts, which are down yonder there because we got a bag full of new ones, which I hope are not too long. Anyways, we'll find out. I believe that that's the right length. So we're gonna put that on, uh, get that stuff done up. Maybe get the turbocharger on today. The pipes that go up to the, um, well, I guess, basically I'm gonna try to get all of the engine accessories on. Um, obviously, other than I can't do brake lines. I can't do the lines that come from the Hydro Boost because we have to order new ones to do that. Um, we're gonna use this, this power steering pump. So I'm just gonna tee into this line for our Hydro Boost. Most of the time I would change the pump, but that pump's not that old. So we'll just use that. If we have an issue with it, we'll, we'll deal with it then. Uh, maybe put the starter on. We are gonna do some stuff. I'll probably do a, I'll do a separate video talking about that, but we're at the fuel filter stuff. Um, I think we're gonna use the factory fuel filter itself, but we're gonna upgrade the lines and such. Uh, and I drilled the holes and stuff in the head bigger when we did that. So we are going to get at doing this stuff because I wanna get this thing done. So we got lots more to do on this truck. There's a bunch more work to do. Uh, we gotta get, we're putting a new rad that doesn't fit in the rad support because we're using a different rad support. We're putting a intercooler of some sorts in it, which does not fit. We're gonna have to make that fit. Um, what else are we doing? We gotta put the ratchet shifter in it. We have to build a tranny mount. Uh, I'm gonna have to fashion up a drive shaft for now because I believe that we're gonna to try to change this, this transfer case out for the aluminum transfer case, the 241 that would have been in this truck factory because it was a half ton, the aluminum um, chain style one. If we can so much find one, I haven't been able to find one yet, but I haven't really looked that hard. Might go to the, some of the scrap yards around here. Um, yeah, we got lots of stuff to do. So uh, today's gonna to be the last day of working on it for a couple days because it is now turning into um, the weekend for uh, New Year's. I'm gonna take a couple days off, spend with the fam family. And uh, yeah, so let's get working at this thing, see what we can get done. I'd like to get as much done today as possible because the more we get done today, the less I have to do later. So let's get after it.
All right, so we got a few things done. The front cover on, front seal. I got the oil cooler and all that stuff figured out. All the bolts back in there. Torque converter bolts, they're all tight with Loctite. Um, yeah, so this is the rad support that we're gonna conjure up and use. It's a four headlight old style one that she, well, I had that we're gonna use. And right, yeah, what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna set that on there and mock the old fenders up because we're gonna try to see where the new radiator that we have, make sure it's gonna work. And I wanted to try to use a second gen air cooler just because I have a couple, just try to keep the budget of the scenario not $8 trillion. So we're going to just set everything up and see what we got as far as stuff. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna put you guys back up in the holder and uh All right, guys, so give me the end of the day for us, but we got some stuff done. Um, I don't remember if I talked about, we put the my old drag truck wheels on it. No, I guess we did. Anyways, it looks cool with those on there, but that's roughly what we're gonna put, end up putting for a size of tire. Obviously not sticking out as much as that, like the bulge of the tire, but that kind of idea is what it's gonna get for a wheel on it. But we got the front end just sitting on here for mock-up purpose, because these aren't the fenders and stuff that we're gonna use, because we have new fenders up there for it. But this is the front, the grill assembly with the dual headlights and stuff that Shea wants to use. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, we kind of got everything figured up, figured as far as the intercooler setup and the rad and all that, how that's gonna sit in there. So it's gonna come together pretty quick, I think. Um, I would say probably, hopefully have it on the, or ho I'm hoping to have it on the dyno end of January. That's what I'm hoping. We still got a bunch of work to do yet. Um, but that's what I'm hoping to get it on the dyno yeah. as long as we don't run into any problems Yeah, yeah get the shifter installed and then like obviously put the rest of the stuff together I ordered a sump for it. So that'll be here next week So we can get the fuel system hooked up and get all that done uh, Turbo exhaust all that jazz, but I'll film all that stuff for you guys um, So like subscribe hit me in the comments and remember it's not rocket science, but if you're gonna be dumb you better be tough Hey guys Check out the merch store, cutteruprob.com, link is in the description for all the new merch that I just dropped. Help out the channel.